Welcome to Survival Instincts, the series where we show you three different methods of survival. So let's examine the final circle. All right, we made it. Only six of us left. This is where things get turned up a notch. Let's survey the field. We've got two guys hunkered down to our left, a third we can see sniping from the church, and a fourth in the first story window. However, the last player is unaccounted for. How should we play this? We could be stealthy, we could be tactical, or we could run and gun. How about we choose stealth? It's not a bad approach, as avoiding conflict is a surefire way of surviving. We see there are two players fighting, so we use this opportunity to sneak into the backside of the new circle. Seems like another player is distracted by the fight. One downside to playing stealthy is we aren't warmed up to fight, so if we miss our shots, we should expect to pay the price. To take a more tactical approach, let's look at the zones. The wide side will have more people fighting for it, as that side of the circle has shrunk significantly. Also, it exposes you to more sight lines. However, if you move to the tight side, you can stay out of sight lines and you're also less likely to get flanked. As we move to the tight side, we see an enemy fighting inside the new circle. We'll use this distraction as a moment to position behind them and take them out. But let's take our time before engaging. If they win their fight, there'll be one less person for us to worry about. That's what I call working smarter, not harder. Now, it's just three players left. But unfortunately, the next circle is in the open courtyard. Time to use those handy dandy smoke grenades. Now with cover, we can slip into the new circle. However, smoke doesn't last forever. So make sure you have a plan for when it goes away. How about we try run and gun? Let's take advantage of the chaos and run straight through the center of the circle. There are players in this building, and this might seem reckless. But sometimes, aggression and speed is exactly what you need. Now just two players left. Let's see if we can find our mystery man. There he is. Thank you, level three helmet. Sounds like they're fighting. Let's get involved. Frag grenades are great for flushing enemies out of cover. Let's go for style. Until next time, keep playing PUBG.